Welcome to the Power of Care Spotlight. I'm Larry Moliterno with Meridian Community Care. And here again today with Chief Jack Nichols of the Boardman Police Department. And one of the things we're going to talk a little bit about today is that Meridian and Boardman are working together to have a law enforcement summit on July 26th. And the purpose of that is to bring uh, law enforcement and treatment providers together to talk about how we can work together to address the addiction issue. And one of the things I find important is that in the past we always kind of worked independently and now we're saying we need to work together on this. And I, I know uh, you would probably say that what percentage of, of uh, the calls that we get in the police department are related to drug or alcohol? Well, you know, Larry, we've seen in the last four or five years the, uh, the change in the nature of the drug problem in our community and in the communities surrounding us. And we're now at a point where a, a very large percentage of what we deal with is heroin based. Um, if you look at the arrests that get made by the Boardman Police Department, and I'm sure the same holds true throughout the community, probably 90% of the people taken into custody on, on arrest for any charge, ha that incident has some drug nexus to it. There's some connection to, to a drug issue or drug problem. And th that can uh, be anything from a domestic violence case to a theft to a car b &E, to a burglary to a robbery. So we do have um, this drug problem has... we woven its way into the fabric of, of our society now and we have to work together to root it out. Yeah, and I, I think that what we also are recognizing that, and you have said it many times, that we're not going to rest our way out of this problem. And I think this is the first step, I think, in saying that, that the drug problem in our society is, is something that everyone in the community needs, needs to get involved in. And we're going to start this by working with law enforcement folks, but then we also hope to be able to work with clergy, with the business community, with the schools, uh, with physicians, that everybody needs to come together if we're really going to deal with this problem. That's true, and I, I mean, we've in our internal dialogue at the police department, we've realized that we have to step beyond the traditional law enforcement role of being the police and arresting and prosecuting, and, and, and we have to offer additional services because, like you said, we're not going to arrest our way out of it. We're asking the treatment professionals, the clergy, other law enforcement and the courts to advise us on how best to serve the public. What additional steps do we have to take outside of the traditional p police realm in order to accomplish that? And what are some of the things that, that you're considering in Boardman? Well, you know, there's there's a, a disconnect I find with um, with families and individuals that are uh, struggling with addiction problems on how to get the help, how to get into the system, how to how to, and, and the families suffer as much as the individuals do. Um, and, and, and I have a fondness for Al-Anon. I think that's a program that really works. And so um, as we hire our people at the police department that are going to run this program, um, we, we want to we be the most effective we can be for the dollars spent. And um, we need to have somebody in place to make that connection between the families and individuals and the system in order to bring them in. Well, and I appreciate the fact that you recognize that it is a family illness. And I think the other thing that in our conversations uh, that you certainly recognize is the difference between the individual and the actions of that individual and the disease of addiction. And I think that's why I think we appreciate that your leadership and the leadership of, of Boardman Township's Fire Department in trying to bring all of these folks together to say, let's work together, let's address the drug problem in our society uh, collectively, and I think it's a, it's a great start. So our hope is that after July 26th that we have this meeting, uh, I'd like for you to come back and maybe we can talk to the folks about what we learned from that experience and uh, how we're going to move forward working together to solve the addiction problem in our community. That would be wonderful. So look forward to that conversation and if any more information that you would like to get on uh, the addiction issue, on the heroin problem, or on Al-Anon, you can go to our website at meridiancommunitycare.org. Thanks, Jack. Thanks.